Hello everyone, welcome to uh, the Flocking Geese's My Team career mode uh, here on uh, F123 and you join us for round 18 uh, part 1 for the sprint race, part 2 for the Grand Prix here at the new circuit which is uh, the newest track for, it's one of the two new tracks for the F123 calendar this year uh, the Qatar Airways circuit, or I think that's what it's called, but it's in Qatar basically, so it's in the same area as Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, unfortunately. So um, yeah, first we did um, we did all right, I think. It, you know, it's to be expected with, with a new track. You do struggle at first, um, but we have two problems. Uh, first of all, we're getting our asses handed to us by uh, the whining Dutchman. I'm not really bothered about that, to be honest, though. The second problem is uh, this. Our engine's at 64%, and if we uh, we can't do anything about it because, well, grid penalty warning. Because Park Fermo rules are in effect, we can't get a new one. Because if we do, we won't be starting from P4, which we qualified in. So position 4... That's the uh, that that's where we qualified during the qualifying session. All right, actually, I think. So uh, let's get on with the sprint race, shall we? Forget pit stops, forget fuel management. It's pedal to the metal all the way here as we get ready for today's sprint. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting sprint. George Russell will begin today's event in pole position, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Perez, Goose, Sainz, Leclerc, Hamilton, Fernando Alonso, Norris, Gasly, Ocon, Bottas, Sonoda, Oscar Piastri, Hulkenberg, Albon, Magnussen, Joe, Stroll, Sargent, Williams, and Nick de Vries. And with preparations almost complete, let's head trackside for today's sprint. And Anthony Davidson joins us in the commentary box. Ant, take us through the eras when you were driving, compare it to this one. Why don't we get things rolling by talking about George Russell? Well, it was a really impressive lap in qualifying to get pole position, but are they going to be able to hold on to the lead into the first corner with so many quick starters around them? And of course, it's looking very close here today. A lot's going to be riding on those first few corners, and then the question becomes who can manage their tyres so they're in a better position to push hard towards the end. Right, I do apologise. We are using the replay, not the actual on um, board footage, but uh, anyway, uh, we're off. Start of the Qatar Sprint Race, uh, the first time on F123 we're doing it, and the Goose goes round wide, off the track even, to try and catch up with the uh, the Mercedes, and overtakes George Russell! Kings is the one driver ultimate ladies by putting his place by the flocking geese himself. Red Bull moves up to position 2, that must be Max Verstappen, the winning Dutchman. Put Sergio Perez in position 4 behind um, George Russell, that's correct. Goose, Verstappen, Russell, Perez, Sainz, Hamilton, Norris, Leclerc, King Alonso! And the man, Gasly, are your top 10 for the sprint race. Followed by uh, Aussie Boy Pastry, uh, McLaren's Golden Boy, and Ultimate Trace of the Flocking Geese. Aus Aussie Boy Pastry in P11, Yuki Sonoda, Valtteri Bartas, Espen Ocon, Joe Guanyu, Albon, Hulkenberg, Stroll, Magnussen, our teammate Williams, De Vries, and Sargent in the uh, other half of the uh, field. So, what happened was. Um, at this point in the recording, the game base well, the recording just froze. So I had to use uh, the replay. Which plus, it's like Australia. Um, so I do apologise, but at least the uh, the replay actually works. So I recorded the replay for you. Um, now the good news is that um, this won't be for the actual Grand Prix. The recording for the Grand Prix is safe. Uh, which is Goose, uh, Verstappen we roll as we uh, go into the fast straight here excuse me if I had to be Cherry there's contact between uh, 
the goose there and Verstappen and Russell and we move on to lap th at the end of lap three um, again nothing really happened really between this time and the start of lap two so uh, there's contact contact between Verstappen and the goose it's the Dutch Grand Prix all over again three wide we go to the first corner here of lap round four look at that three wide the, look, look, the Ferrari gets ahead but the goose Defends from both Verstappen and that uh, Ferrari. Is it Carlos Sainz? I think it's Carlos Sainz. Or it could be the Claire. No, it's Sainz. We move on to lap six now. The Goose still holding it down in P1 at the Qatar Airways uh, circuit. Designed for Motor Grand Prix racing, not Formula One. Damn it, Middle East, and your body making persuasion skills, you bastard. Look at this. George Russell takes the position. He well, takes the lead of the Grand Prix and the goose demonstrating uh, that his tyres and <laughs> and his oh there we go this is where uh, this is where the fun begins position two now uh, we are still ahead of Verstappen which is excellent but uh, Russell is getting away uh, lap seven now in the middle section I think this is uh, and uh, Russell is four it's all, uh, five seconds ahead at this point uh, and we're having a bit of a contact uh, obsession with Verstappen. Hamilton moves to position three. Mm, oh god, it's, it's going to be the uh, it's Verstappen. And Hamilton pulls through and we're slowing. Now at this point, the safety car came out. Um, yeah, the safety car came out. Lap seven. We're in sector two. And we can show you why, because we're on board with Yuki Tsunoda. Alpha Tauri, and he does a donut, Ooh, and a slight contact with the Alpine. So uh, that's what brought the safety car out. Uh, there's William, a contact with an Alpine, and uh, Williams. There's our teammate there in the background. So the safety car lasted um, about two laps. So we're in lap eight now. And there's the safety car, the Aston Martin. On a track designed for Motor GP, not Formula One. Not as easy as it looks. Not as easy as it looks. I don't like the track. The only track I like for the Middle East is the uh, Yasmarina Circuit in Abu Dhabi. That's it. The other tracks can go to hell. It's one of the things I don't like about the Formula One calendar. We have three tracks in the Middle East, instead of just one, which should be the Yasmarina Circuit. You then have three tracks in America. It should only be either Vegas or Austin, Texas Circuit of the Americas. Make your mind up. Give us more tracks in Britain. <laughs> Excuse me. So um, the safety car goes, uh, it's safety car's ended. You can see it going to the pit lane. Safety car. And Lando Norris's engine just <laughs> said, No, I've had enough. The Mercedes powertrain proving how reliable it is, uh, courtesy of uh, Team Chase Liner. And their uh, sad, unfortunate uh, series of events from uh, Season 1. Go check them out. Team Chase Liner, Rockstar 469. And uh, his amazing uh, team of uh, Team Chase Liner, Jackie and Tatiana. Ch uh, Rockstar's Angels, we like to call, I like to call them. Get it? Charlie's Angel spin-off thing. Anyway, so uh, position nine, we no lap nine. Sorry, we did have an opportunity there to uh, get rid of Russell, but um, we didn't, did we? We're too busy trying to hold Verstappen from doing a cheat code maneuver. But no, um, it's position two, people. And we started position four, so position two isn't too bad. And this is a sprint race, so you know, we don't really, uh, I, I don't see the point of a sprint race. It's basically qualifying, so it's basically qualifying, but you're not racing to get the fastest time, you're just going around the track a couple of times without pitting, if you can help it. And we move now into the final lap, Hamilton has taken position 3 from Verstappen, Leclerc's moved up to P6, Perez has dropped P... Perez has gone to P7. Oh, and Hamilton's overtaken for Stafford for P3. Blah, blah. Oh, it's Hamilton P3. Oh, no, it's for Stafford. For Stafford take... Oh. 
Anyway, moving on now, and Williams is... Uh, oh no, it's not Lando Norris that's uh, retired, it's the McLaren's Golden Boy. Aussie Boy Pastry, good day, mate. I don't think the Middle East, I don't think Qatar likes people from Australia. Damn you, Qatar, you crazy sons of... <coughs> uh, Williams is last. Um, didn't I say in the last one, or no, I said this a few races ago that he needs to improve. His contract's coming up at the end of Las Vegas, so he's got... He's got, he's got uh, at least a few more races to improve himself. But anyway, um, let's see, uh, this is, this is, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. So your top ten, here comes Russell now, the final quarter. You see the Goose, Hamilton, Verstappen, the rest of the team going into the uh, final quarter. Russell, slow. He's an absolute bastard. He slowed right down just before crossing the finish line. That arrogant Kingsley, East Anglin, like just sucking. Oh, I kick his ass. That arrogant. Oh, the arrogance of that man. Oh, this is why we have contact with him. So, uh, yeah, that was the uh, Qatar Sprint Race. I hope you've enjoyed. I do apologise that you uh, you saw the replay for just not the actual onboard recording with you know the DRS and the gears and everything on the bottom screen. The bottom left, you have the um, the mini map, and then you know uh, I do apologise for that. It's just the uh, recording basically screwed us over. The only bit I could save was what you're seeing right now, the intro, and they obviously you know the welcome to this fantastic sprint from uh, I forgot who actually does the narrator. But anyway, uh, hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out my other channel, Tico Sprinter, and we'll see you for the 29 lap Qatar Grand Prix. Goose Lord. Right. Take care, everybody.